Hey guys, Bobby here from Wedding Film School. And what if I told you that you could have a feature rich, super compact gimbal that was inexpensive and could do everything you needed to at a wedding? Well, let me introduce you to the brand new Zion Crane M3. Zion reached out about this new gimbal, and I have to be honest, I was not initially interested in reviewing it. Those who know me know that I have reviewed tons of gimbals, and I still haven't found a reason to switch from my original Zion Crane. Plus, the M-Series has always been for phones or point-and-shoot cameras, and not the things that I was using to professionally capture a wedding. But they assured me that this new model could fly a full-frame camera, so I agreed. And I've gotta admit, the minute I started playing around with it, I was pretty impressed. This thing might just be the best bang for your buck when it comes to gimbals for wedding filmmakers. So let's dive into what I love about this new camera gimbal, as well as some of the things that I'd love to see improved upon, and hopefully that will help you make up your mind on if this is the right gimbal for you. But first, let's touch on some of the basics. The Zion Crane M3 is the newest gimbal from Zion and can hold anything from a cell phone to a full frame mirrorless camera with certain lenses and it comes with different mounts to help balance all of these options. It has an advertised battery life of eight hours, a touchscreen, joystick for gimbal control, a signable wheel for camera control, and a new front facing light, as well as an expansion base that allows you to run a microphone and other things into it. And it's all packed up into a small white frame, currently priced at $369. And if you're interested in one, click the link down below to check it out. You'd be helping out the channel without any cost to you, and we here at Wedding Film School would of course appreciate it. So now let's talk about what I love. And number one on this list is actually the absolute very first thing that I noticed when I unpacked it. And that is just how small this gimbal is. I'm always looking to decrease my footprint at a wedding and also just make my life easier. Uh, you know, keeping two cameras on me throughout the day of a wedding. And I think the new M3 is gonna go a long way in that category. I don't have a ton of gimbals on me here for comparison, uh, but here's the Crane M3 next to the original Zion Crane, as well as the Weeble S. And to be able to have a gimbal that is this compact that can fly a full frame camera is pretty astonishing. For reference, I balanced my full frame Sony a7 III on this gimbal with the Zeiss 16-35 f4 lens, and it handled it just fine. Though you'll wanna check and see if your setup is compatible, of course. Additionally, along the lines of moving from place to place with multiple cameras, the M3 does have access locks, which isn't anything new, but it makes it much safer for the gimbal to pick up and move around while not in use, and not all gimbals have that. Next up on the list of things I love about this gimbal is the touchscreen and menu. It's bright, it's responsive, it's easy to use, allowing you to switch between modes, check the balance, or adjust settings. And while I think the touchscreen is great and all, what I love most about this is that it means I no longer have to use an app. Between poorly designed apps that are out there, connection issues when you're at a shoot, and other things, I'm always not really a fan of forcing app use, and the M3 delivers on that, though I believe you can use the Zion app if you want. And lastly on this list of things that I love is the brand new front facing light on the gimbal. Now to be clear, when it comes to weddings, I'm not usually a fan of on-camera lighting, and this is essentially the same thing, but I could see times where this could come in handy at a wedding. I'm thinking maybe certain detail shots, uh, guest interviews, if that's your thing, maybe some open dancing, things like that. And additionally, there would certainly be uses for this light in non-wedding settings. But even with the limited use when it comes to weddings, I wanna point out that the light is really well thought out and it can get pretty damn bright if you need it to. There's a wheel on the left side of the screen next to the joystick kind of around the corner that allows you to control both the brightness of the light as well as the Kelvin temperature, which can be dialed in from 2600 Kelvin to 5400. And while those are the three main things I felt like touching on about this gimbal, please know that none of these things would matter if the gimbal wasn't well built and didn't offer a nice smooth stabilization for your image, which the Crane M3 definitely does. But as with any product, there are always things that could be improved upon or things that you might wanna think of before purchasing. So let's dive into those. First and foremost, I am not a fan of an internal battery. Zion claims eight hours of use, which could theoretically get you through a wedding day. 
if you're turning it off while it is not in use. But I would imagine that eight hours is in optimal settings, which might not be the case at all times. And if the battery does drain entirely, there is not another set that you can pop in there. Now you can power the gimbal with a power bank through USB or something like that. And you can operate it at the same time, which is a good backup, but I do feel like that setup kind of defeats the purpose of the small size of the gimbal. Me personally, I would like to see them go back to external batteries. And if they don't want to do that, which I understand, I'd like to at least see probably a 12 hour runtime to feel totally comfortable. Next, and this is a small one, while the gimbal does support many full frame camera and lens combos, some of them are certainly pushing the limits, you know, maybe not so much on weight, but rather the dimensions of the gimbal itself, which can make accessing certain ports on your camera more or less difficult. It might require you to hit the quick release plate and take the camera off the gimbal briefly to access some of those or switch a card or something. Also, certain gimbal modes are inaccessible unless you take the eye cup off of your camera as it catches on the back motor. Lastly, while I like the quick release system and I think it actually works pretty well, I've always used my Manfrotto quick release plates on all of my cameras and all of my support systems. Whether it's a tripod, a monopod, a slider, or a gimbal, I can hot swap my camera on and off of anything. Now, older Zion models sometimes took my plates natively, but even if they didn't, I could use the provided quick release plate to mount a base for the Manfrotto plates that I use on my cameras, and that essentially accomplished the same thing. However, because of the compact size of the Crane M3, I couldn't fit the plate while also keeping it balanced. So for me, that means I need to have a dedicated gimbal camera that won't be used for anything else on the day, unless I wanna switch plates, which I don't wanna do. So final thoughts on the Crane M3, I really, really like it. I think having something that is this small while also being able to hold full frame cameras like the a7 III is exactly what wedding filmmakers need. It's packed with features, some of which are pretty new to the gimbal world, and I'm sure will continue to show up in future models. And of course, most importantly, it works well, providing good stabilization for your camera. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.